Slimer, do you want to see my new toy? No! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Slimer, where are you gone? Hello, I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster and in this video we're taking a look back at Matty Collector's Neutrona Wand. Now you'll notice I caught a Neutrona Wand because that is its proper name. Matty Collector decided to call it a Neutrino Wand. Just saying that makes me feel sick. You see, Matty Collector was rung by someone who called themselves Toy Guru. They were far from it. And when they announced the name of this and all the fans corrected them, they just said we were all wrong. We weren't wrong, Toy Guru was wrong. Um, but that is the sort of person that rung Matty Collector and that's why Matty Collector ended up going out of business. It was a poorly run company. But um, anyway, let's not uh, dwell on negativity. Let's look at the positive stuff. So back in the day, I bought this. Um, I had to buy this one from a third party because Matty Collector did not ship it uh, to the UK or Europe. I'm not sure what other countries were excluded. Um, so that's buy it from a third party. I can't remember the exact price on this. I think it might have been about $130-ish. Obviously, at the third party, put a little bit of a markup on and then shipping. So, um, but very recently, I managed to get another one because I actually sold my one back in the day uh, after a couple of years. Once they all have a bit of money, because I really needed the money to fund something, something I always regretted. Um, and before I sold it, I'd actually modified it as well. So someone bought my modified uh, version. Uh, but the collector in me always wanted to get another one and I managed to get this for £150 which I was very very happy with because uh, you know the last few years they've been going for you know a few hundred pounds I think the uh, price come down a little bit once uh, Hasbro released their version of the wand there's still some desirability for this one because it's an 84 wand not the afterlife wand but um the price definitely did drop because I think at its height, I think these were going for sort of £400. They might have even gone a bit higher, I can't really remember. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at it. So, see, it comes uh, in the usual white mailer box. Copyright there. Logo and stuff there. And then let's uh, open it up. Now the tape's broken on this side. So, I've said it before, I'll say it again. One of my favourite things is the packaging they used on these. I did really like the packaging on a lot of the Matty Collector stuff. I prefer it to a lot of the more modern stuff. Um, but here it is and it has the sort of wood crate effect which I just really like. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's pretty much the same all the way round. And then you have these warning labels on. So here we are. Warning. Turn off confinement stream immediately after depositing apparition into ghost trap or risk face burning or particle flow reversal through nearest interdimensional portal. Not effective with nimble little minxes. Do not use near flammable items such as toilet paper. Not entirely effective at roasting marshmallows due to nuclear acceleratory aftertaste. Warning. Do not cross the streams unless there is a 100 foot marshmallow man threatening to destroy your city. Cannot be used as a neutrino wand. <sighs> neutrona wand. Particle thrower, neutrona wand and proton blaster simultaneously without causing end of days type stuff. So they, they actually used the term neutrona wand on it. So why didn't they just call it that? Sorry, I'm ranting. <laughs> Clear away all tables, tablecloths, dishes, and flower vases before use. So, there it is now. Let's open it up. So, first thing we come to is the uh, instructions. There they are. So, dear Ghostbuster in training, finally we've made the perfect leaf blower. Oh, wait. That's what kid... That's what are, what are the kids on the interwebs calling it these days? The Proton Blaster, Neutrona Wand, Particle Thrower. Heck, we here at Venkman Inc. are calling this Neutrino Wand. If you ever call it a Neutrino Wand on a Facebook group or forum, stop. It's a Neutrona Wand. Always has been, always will be a Neutrona Wand. What you have in your hands is an entity so dangerous that the government doesn't even know how to sanction it yet. So don't go around spraying protons and terrorizing ghouls in your neighborhood until you've thoroughly studied us in action. Have fun, empty your minds, and good luck. 
And then you have all the uh, instructions on how to use it. So let's get rid of that for the moment and we'll take this piece off here. And there it is. There it is. I have a feeling it came in a clear bag when uh, it originally came out, but like I said, I've, I've bought this obviously off a third party, so uh, if it did come in a bag, they probably didn't include it. Let's get rid of that. So, here is the Neutrona wand, which is what I'm going to call it from now on. Um, and you know, it looks pretty cool to begin with. Um, I do think Hasbro done a much better job overall. Um, you know, I mean, but Hasbro had, you know, these, these come out was it 2014 13 obviously Hasbro's come out like 10 years or so later so um, but they definitely started to cut a lot of corners here um, as you can see they didn't bother painting those parts so you know they should have been a goldy brass color and they just left them black so they definitely cut some corners but no matter what brand of Neutrona wand you have, they always feel really good to hold. Now, on the back, it did have this hole for... Uh, obviously, it was planning ahead for a future possible Proton Pack that was going to link. Um, now, I believe people have actually managed to modify this into other electronics. I never bothered with that. Um, I feel like one thing they should have done was include the other part of the V hook so you could uh, attach this to a pack without having to find one that matches or taking this off and putting a new one on but never mind anyway batteries so this bottom section comes off and that is where we are going to put the batteries so let's take this off and we need three AA batteries which I have right here, so let's put those in. So like I said, I did modify this back in the day, but I don't have my original one, so I can't compare it to that like I did with uh, the goggles, or the, um, you know, the comparison in the goggles video. So the batteries are in, so let me just talk you through quickly what I did uh, back in the day to modify this. I gave it a complete respray just to make it look uh, less plasticky. Um, added a lot of weathering. I did fill in some of these holes. So there's these parts on the screw holes, which I thought looked quite ugly. So I just uh, filled in those little gaps and painted over them. Added some weathering, uh, repainted these parts, filled in these parts here at the bottom trying to think what else I did now. Added some more stickers and stuff, like the slow blow uh, sticker is missing. So they're the sort of things I did. But anyway, let's uh, turn it on. So flick that bottom switch up first, and then this one, and then. And the sound is just so good. I mean, you can't beat that sound. Uh, this lever here pushes this up. So on the, uh, the more modern one it pops up which is more screen accurate but i do like the uh, way that happens and you do it again to bring it down and then to fire you could control the intensity as well by turning this dial you can see it's oh, really going now You can really hear that motor going when the intensity is up. Um, I kind of wish they had an option to get rid of the motor. I didn't like the motor on the uh, the Proton Pack uh, that Hasbro made either. But uh, one other thing it did have is there's these two little sensors, one this side and one this side. And the idea of that was if you had two, or you know, you're with a friend, you could actually hold them together and it would actually do the crossing the streams uh, animation which um i've never had two at the same time so i've never been able to do that which is uh, a shame but that is quite satisfying doing that and then uh shooting it and then uh bring it back in power it down So it is very, very cool. So 
So I just want to give you a little comparison to the uh, Hasbro new tr Trona one. This is currently uh, plugged into my uh, pack. Um, so yeah, you pull that, that shoots up, and then. So if we look, compare the two, the uh, the the tail one is actually a lot brighter uh, in the lights. Um, but let's uh, fire this one. And fire this one. So, like I said, the Mattel one's definitely brighter. Um, so, I think in terms of lighting, the Mattel one wins. Turn this off. It's, um, this is plugged into the proton pack as well, and um, the hose has a dodgy connection. Um, I did get a spare hose, which I've still got put away. So that might be why the lights are not quite as bright, possibly. But yeah, see, it's cut out there. Um, so in terms of electronics and lights. Mattel is better actually. I wasn't expecting that. I've never really com never compared the two. Um, never had them next to each other. So Mattel definitely wins on lights. Um, in terms of detail, Hasbro definitely win. They got a lot better weathering. They have metal details and stuff like that. Um, didn't cut corners on some of the paint apps. So um, this is probably still the better option. And of course, you can actually plug this into the Proton Pack. Um, just need to sort the. Uh, connections out um, I did get an extra hose for this one uh, as a backup but this isn't really something I wear out so it's just on display I've never bothered putting a new hose on and I know people have said there's ways of uh, using tin foil to help that connection but but um, let me know which one you prefer I know some people are gonna prefer this just simply because it's an 84 wand um, some people are gonna prefer this because it is is a better detailed product certainly um, but anyway, let me know what you prefer, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep on busting. I want to give a big shout out to the magic Ghostbuster. Hey, Darren, very, very impressive. <laughs>